listening to the Daily Nugget. It's dnugget.com for August 20th, 2024. It's Tijuana Tuesday. Woohoo! I like going international. We mm-hmm. are. We're going international. And you're in a new location today and this week. So does that yeah. mean, is this what's behind the curtain where you are right now? No. Is this no, like some this sort of has... Narnia thing where you open the curtain, you go through it, and it's a whole new world? It's a totally unrelated situation. I'm in my studio. You should have just said yes. The whole <laughs> oh. thing would have died. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is what's behind the curtain. Too late. Let me take that back. No. Too late. No. Too late. <laughs> we know the truth, Janelle. Next confession, we need to find out what's behind uh, that curtain. I can't go out there. if you are in distress and you're being held against your will blink twice <laughs> listen i can only have one confession <laughs> per per week was so. that three times i can't tell wow. <laughs> zoom video quality is not that good i probably should come up with a different way to, to tell us how you're in distress Flap twice. <laughs> <laughs> Knock three times. Oh my goodness. <laughs> right, Moving Jen. on. Jen. Yes, sir. What? If you're in distress, continue to laugh at your phone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. You know, here's the question. If yes. I have to reveal what's behind my curtains, Jen has to reveal what's behind her cabinet doors. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm guessing yeah. where I keep all my dark secrets. But. Yeah. yeah. You do that right now. She has no choice but to show us what's behind the curtains. <laughs> Is that what today's episode's becoming? You should resist, Jen. Resist. Next week. Suspense. All right. Next week. Next week. Okay. And Sam, I yes. wonder what's behind that plant behind you <laughs> <laughs> or under it. Is it even a real a picture of uh, my co-host from my other not going podcast? Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> For your un uh, un podcast, okay. A podcast that I kind of ran out of steam with. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Well, we're about to hit two hundred episodes, so I don't think that's going to happen. Although today's episode, Sam, may help you continue to pick up the steam, as long as you're not in Canada. We're going international to see you on a Tuesday. Well, Canada sucks. So. Well, and, and here's another uh, here's another fantastic huge, example huge. of why. Uh, so this started, I found this article yeah. on a journey where somebody from Canada came to America. And I wish I found the tweet because it was hilarious because they said, uh, you guys are allowed to have a lot more caffeine in your energy drinks. And it was like a life changing for this person. <laughs> and I'm like, Canada limits the amount of caffeine in energy drinks? As the really? government knows not better, know that. Andy. The government knows. Yes. So here's the hilarious oh. thing. Canada recalled six energy drinks, including the new popular one, Prime and Celsius, which is the grossest thing ever. Don't ever drink that. I would. Well, I, I wish all Celsius were recalled, by the way. Andy, I think you drank the grossest one possible. Oh, okay. So there's there's actually good there, ones? There's good flavors. That said, the, the one that you drank, mm-hmm. I tried it again. I tried it later. And I remember thinking, oh, this is why he hates this. <laughs> okay, good. I, I know how to pick them. I tell you what, I know how to pick them. You will, because you keep buying stuff on sale. No, that's true. There's a reason why it's cheap. You and buy things that are on clearance. I should, I probably should, you know, not sacrifice my health for like saving 10 cents. <laughs> but, okay, so Canada sets a legal limit on caffeine. 180 milligrams in a single serving can. <laughs> So prime energy has 200 milligrams, which is nearly six times as much as in a regular Coca-Cola. And so Canada said, you can't, hey, we're recalling it in our country. Here's, here's the catch. (laughs) Uh, Logan Paul, who's the guy who, you know, is the the head of prime. He said, uh, the crazy thing is we don't distribute prime in Canada. (laughs) And and all the other uh, caffeine company, uh, can, whatever, like the caffeine drinks, the energy drinks, these companies are like, yeah, none of us have them in Canada because they are oh. not allowed. Oh. So, <laughs> so Canada's but recalling Canada's these. Canada's a statement. <laughs> Canada's recalling drinks that don't actually go, or aren't actually in Canada. <laughs> really? If there's the a, I, I can't... equivalent of a child holding their breath until they pass out. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ken is like, I don't want them. So I'm going to. Maybe maybe it's sold on the black market. <laughs> well, well, that's got to be it. That's got to be it, right? They're, they're mm. saying that, oh, well, somebody is bringing them up. But contraband. Like, what are you going to do? That reminds me, there is, a, there was, um, because, you know, Canada's weird. Like for a while, Target was going to start doing Canadian stores and they did. They did this big expansion, but they couldn't keep stuff on the shelves. So they had to leave Canada. So there's no more Targets in Canada. But there's, Canada. Just some, there's something about customs. I don't know. So they, they it's, it's hard for American companies to do stuff like this. But to the point where there Canada used to be. sucks. <laughs> I'm glad I'm you on know, the side of the border. No, no. Whoa. Stop hating on Canada. Ah! I get it. You don't agree on certain things. But hang on. About this, about, I understand it wasn't actually there, whatever. But then having a limit on caffeine coming from the two men that love and want death lemonade to come back. Please. Do you hear yourselves? <laughs> I want Are you serious. We do. I, I can't, you know what? I don't want, you can, you can take my caffeine when you pry it from my cold, dead fingers. Okay. Oh, whoa. Which itching because of all the caffeine. <laughs> exactly. You know, between that and the meat, we're finding out you guys are very dependent. <laughs> you have to have these things I, or we pass away. I, I think you've got some admit, wicked habits. I fully admit <laughs> that I am addicted to caffeine. Now, okay. Janelle, I you're a brockaholic. Yeah. I am, but it's not. It's not as nearly as dangerous as caffeine. Oh, look at this equivocating! Look at this. Yep. She's justifying. <laughs> it's not. At least I'm not this. I could say. What I, was that I voice? could say at least I'm not. You know, it's funny because I used to drink a lot of Coke Zero. Um, yeah. And I remember my one of my He's kids, cool. my one of my kids came to me one day and was like, "Dad, I'm really worried about how much Coke Zero you're drinking," and it, it felt like a drug intervention or like I was like an alcoholic and I'm like, kids, mm -hmm. trust me. Like, this is not that bad. <laughs> the lights are getting cut off. You're not showing up to work. <laughs> if, if this is the worst thing that you have to come talk to dad about your dad's all right. Yeah. And there's some truth there, but isn't that some blame shifting? And there's another word for that. Uh, okay. What's it called? Where even though yes, you can compare it to something that's better, doesn't mean that they can't say they're concerned. That's, that's right. Some, there's some nice kids. As, as long as uh -huh. we're talking about hypocritical things, I've seen Andy's kids around <laughs> well, and caffeinated, and they're just like, hey, I'm going to drink that. <laughs> and then they just grab it, they guzzle it, and then they grab another one. I think mm -hmm. Andy's mm -hmm. little son on vacation drank at least 13 Mountain Dews in one day. <sighs> oh my and the thing wow. Is, that's the one that's like me. So that makes sense. <laughs> He's my mini me, my middle child. Mm -hmm. And you guys give me such a hard time about not eating meat. I mean, seriously. <laughs> yeah, because wow. Actually, Andy mentioned the two things I had for my meals today. I actually had a ribeye steak and mm -hmm. egg for lunch. Mm -hmm. And then I had a smash burger for dinner. Oh. With sweet potato fries. So good. Mm. Uh, Janelle, I feel like you ha could have some more initials behind your name because you already have WFPB, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then maybe if you join the Health Canada and Canadian Food Inspection Agency, which is CFIA, it's you okay, could be right. WFP. sounding like an eye chart. CFIA. <laughs> you probably should apply <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I need that's what I need. More initials. Go. Well, I know I was worried. <laughs> that's the nugget. Uh, let us know what your favorite <laughs> energy drink is. Not and what's your addiction? Broccoli? Caffeine Ooh. drinks? Lentils. Decorative pillows? Jen, I was gonna say, yeah, Jen, I was gonna say, what's oh, Jen's? It's decorative Jen. pillows. Yes. <laughs> Not anymore. Not was, I was at Mike's Discount Foods the other day, <gasps> and there was a oh, big Gigant one of those like giganto like boxes that they throw like watermelons in, mm -hmm. but it was filled with de de uh, decorative pillows at Mike's Discount Foods. Were <laughs> yeah. they food how many? Related? How many did you buy? I didn't buy any. <laughs> I did oh, take a picture bad. of it. And I forgot to send it to Jen. Oh, oh, we need a picture of that. Were they a, were they a good discount? Because everything at Mike's were, Discount were, Foods they, is. I think it was like three for eleven dollars. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I have no idea how much a decorative pillow costs, eh. and not and I wasn't going to buy one. 
because I was I was there to buy the discount meats. An energy Think drink. of the delight and and just sheer pleasure Heather would have if you came in with three pillows. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. End of discussion. All right. Well, All right, Heather, if you're listening, nuggethatemail at gmail.com. Tell us how disappointed you are in your husband that he didn't get you the pillows. Uh, she'll I give know. you a long list of what she's disappointed with. 